Hi, I'm Alison Tommy Thompson. I'm the CEO of the St. Kitts Tourism Authority. Thank you so much for giving Breaking Travel News some time here at Marketplace. Um, so, uh, give us an update on St. Kitts. Well, St. Kitts, we're in the Eastern Caribbean. Uh, we're two and a half hours flying from Miami and maybe an hour and a half from Barbados. And uh, from to get to St. Kitts out of the U.S., we've got American Airlines that flies in from Miami, Charlotte and New York, United from Newark, Delta from Atlanta, also Air Canada from Toronto, British Airways from London Scaffold Airport, and into Caribbean that flies from uh, Barbados into St. Kitts. Now that was just launched in March, and uh, the reason we wanted Barbados is because of the connectivity with their hub in Barbados, so you can get one stop now to St. Lucia, Dominica, St. Vincent, Grenada, uh, Guyana. And, uh, you know, getting around the Caribbean can be a bit of a nightmare, so this has definitely been a, a game changer for us. Additionally, we also have the McKenna Ferry that travels three times a week between St. Kitts, Stacia, Sabre, and St. Martin. And so that's also another way to get around the area. Um, in terms of what's happening in St. Kitts, we have introduced our Summer of Fun, which begins in uh, June. June 22nd to 24th is the St. Kitts Music Festival, and it is three nights of uh, concerts. It's actually a whole week of activities, so you, you got to pace yourself on this one. <laughs> so some of the artists who will be performing will be Kez, our uh, own um, Small Axe Band uh, out of St. Kitts, uh, Byron Messiah from uh, Nevis. We also got Burner Boy, um, Coffee, Chronics, uh, <laughs> uh, Skilly Bank, Air Supply. So it's going to be a great three nights of activity. And that's going to be held at the Warner Park in St. Kitts. And, you know, it usually starts around about 7 o'clock in the night. And then it goes on until the wee hours of the morning. And, yeah, in addition to that, that's followed by the Nevis uh, Mango Festival. And then we've got the St. Kitts and Nevis Restaurant Week. And that's a really nice event because it gets uh, visitors and residents get to uh, participate in a number of restaurants and hotels and bars that have their specials for the week. So you can get a nice uh, three-course meal for a really delicious price. <laughs> uh, so it's an opportunity for you to go to those restaurants that you don't normally go to. And there's also food tasting that we have in St. Kitts and also in Nevis. And each year, we choose a product that is going to be incorporated in all the dishes. So this year, it's going to be the pineapple. So once we finish with that, then we've got Nevis Culture Ramo, which is basically their festival. And then that we end the summer with the CPL uh, cricket. So that's the end of August, early September. So that's kind of the activities for this particular summer. Um, and then in the uh, fall, we've got the um, uh, St. Kitts Carnival. <laughs> so that's usually um, December into January. So it's already the only carnival that goes over two years. <laughs> That's cool. so, so it's a great time. Um, in terms of uh, hotels, we've got a number of options for you. There's no all-inclusives, but we've got from um, budget all the way up to uh, luxury properties. And so there's also an opportunity for you to, depending on how you want to uh, travel, do that. And as I said, uh, with the Federation of St. Kitts and Nevis. So to get to Nevis um, from the South Peninsula, it's only six minutes by ferry. And then you get two islands for the price of one. That's a really a very, very um, nice vacation that you're going to have here in St. Kitts and Nevis. And what's your message to the, the travel professionals watching this from all over the world? Well, to the travel professionals, we don't want you to mess us up with the other saints, all right? So it's St. Kitts and Nevis. And in order for us to help the travel trade globally, um, our salespeople um, in the North America and also in the uh, Caribbean and also in the UK, we do seminars, webinars. Uh, we've got salespersons to go out and visit the travel agents. Out of the UK, uh, we're doing 40 persons. This is the 40th year of anniversary of St. Kitts and Nevis. Congratulations. Thank you. So we're bringing 40 travel advisors um, into St. Kitts and Nevis um, during the year. So we're making sure that we are making, uh, getting the uh, travel advisors involved in selling the destination. We also have the opportunity where we give the $200 um, bonus to travel agents who book St. Kitts and Nevis, and they are getting that $200 once their passengers complete travel to the destination. <laughs> so it's not just for the booking, it's for a completed visit to the destination. And for those who want to log on to our uh, travel trade program, 
you can go on to visitingkids.com and register to join our rewards program. Thank you so much for giving us an update today. Yeah, most welcome. Thank you.